Hello, everybody, and welcome to a, another week of my um, Patreon Inkscape development updates. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to all of my new pa Patreons this week, uh, and also a big shout out to all of my uh, continuing pa Patreons. Um, I wouldn't be able to do the work that I do on Inkscape without your help. Um, we are slowly building a community of uh, like minded Inkscape users who uh, believe in um, basically paying for development and paying for improvement to Inkscape. So thank, thank you all very much. Uh, and don't forget to share and like these vi videos um, so we can try and find as many people as we can uh, to join, join in the fun. So uh, this week I, I did actually manage to um, work on Inkscape some, which is great. I feel good about that. Uh, first of all, I did some work on the, on the website. Uh, improve the moderation queues. I uh, fixed some nofollow links for spammers, essentially. I created a new test site, um, which allows new contributors to basically test uh, adding things to the website, which is great. And I did a user clean cleanup, um, which unfortunately had uh, a problem where it deleted some historical con content from the website. So I had to spend some hours f basically finding files that um, the website had accidentally deleted. Uh, C'est la vie. Things, things fall apart, right? Um, but that's that's seemed to be clear, clear, clearing up okay. Uh, I added some uh, alert improvements to the galleries. So uh, we have the About Screen con Contest going on right, right now, and you can subscribe to the About Screen Contest gallery itself so that you can be notified when uh, new entries can come in, uh, which is what the people who um, verify that the, the, the entries do, they subscribe to, to the gallery. Uh, and the, the emails were being a bit too, like it was too many emails and they weren't being very specific about what, what, what was happening. Um, so I fixed those up. Uh, but look at the look at the entries that we have so, so far. They're, they're just beautiful. Um, I encourage anybody who wants to participate in um, seeing your artwork as a part of Inkscape itself uh, to participate because it's a great, it's a great con contest. Um, I can't wait to see the fi final ones because it's all, it's always great to see what the community can come up with. Um, the big issue I fixed this week was the the auto saves issue. Um, so what was happening was is that in Inkscape itself, sorry but to backtrack from from the website here, in Inkscape itself, uh, when you switched on the auto saves fe feature, which can be very useful, it periodically saves a copy of your document so that if Inkscape crashes or your computer goes off because of a power cut, then it, you will be able to go back and see those uh, files. Um, but there was a bug where it was basically, um, it was only saving the very last file and it was never it was never deleting the, the old ones. So you would end up with like six month old files that, um, you know, didn't apply anymore. Uh, and so like the, 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 the fix and code clean cleanup for this uh, required effectively the what it was doing is it was um, not correctly specifying the prefix for those for those files. Um, and it was using a, a run num number. So every time you run Inkscape, there's a, a number called a process ID, and it was using that, that pro process ID. So if your next process ID was bigger than the one that happened before, uh, then it would never delete the, the, the old ones, right? So you would end up just saving one file, which was just wrong. So um, cleaning that up meant essentially redefining the pre prefix that we wanted to use, making sure that the, the date is the thing that follows the pre pre prefix, or like always. Uh, so I made a comment in the code that if anybody else modifies this code, they should recognize the fact that the, the date must come next. Um, and that's fixed the, the, the issue. Uh, it's looking good. I've had feed from feedback already. Uh, the second fix was on tolerances. So this is where when you have a, uh, say you have a pen uh, for a tablet, like like one of these, and you, you start dragging, uh, you start clicking, uh, the, the accuracy of a pen, it, it, it wobbles slightly as you as you put the pen down. And so what Inkscape needs to do is it's got this, this um, feature called tolerance, which you can set. The default is four pic pixels. And what it means is it, you need to drag four pic pixels before it will accept that instruction as a drag, right? So 
um, as you put the pen down, as long as the pen didn't move more than four pic pixels in the X or Y co coordinates, uh, it won't start dragging and creating boxes or new objects or whatever the drag is. Um, but there was a there was a bug uh, in that the uh, when you started to do a, a select box, um, the coordinates that it started the box at were the 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 end coordinates from that dragged tolerance, right? Not the not the start ones. So you could never create a box that was only four pixels wide because it would immediately contract to where it was uh, when you stopped dragging, uh, which was not good. I mean, it's a very, very subtle error, but uh, it's very confounding because if you increase that tolerance from four pixels to like 10 pixels, then you'll definitely see the problem where you can no longer, <laughs> the box suddenly just goes, and it's, it's uh, very bad for, for accurate design. Um, I had to fix a an issue with the themes installation. I had to clean up the code uh, because it, uh, it wasn't seeing the new uh, minimum compact theme that we have uh, in certain in, in installations for for the alpha. So uh, that should be fixed now. And I've made it so that if the theme isn't available for whatever reason, it disables it in the drop drop down, so users won't accidentally select it. Um, I, uh, there was a small fix in the extensions for, for, for tempters. There was a crash fix for ungrouping, uh, ungrouping clones, uh, groups of clones of clones of groups of groups of clones. Um, and there was a uh, so so this this is a really fun fix. So this is you export as a PDF. And you want to just export one layer or one group, right? So you set the the um, the ID that you want to export, and instead of just exporting that ID, what it was doing is it was deleting all objects on in your document except for that one ID, uh, which is not what an export is supposed to do. It's not supposed to modify the document uh, during export. So I've, I, what I've done is I've made it so that uh, every single type of export, whether it's PDF or SVG or, or whatever always makes a copy of the SVG before it starts, you know, modifying it and, and um, doing whatever whatever it needs to do in order to clean that SVG up for, 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 for saving. Um, that should mean that, like, any future program programmer that comes along and wants to modify the, the, the export as it's happening won't by accidentally modify the, the, the document that you're working on. Um, so that's about it for this week. Um, if you have any suggestions for uh, things you'd like to see, or if you're trying the the one one point one alpha, I'd love to see feed feedback. Uh, we already have some great feed feedback for, for for the welcome screen. People seem to re really like it. Um, some good f feedback for the speed improvements, which is great. Uh, thanks to Renee. Um, so yeah, please join in. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks for wa watching, and uh, I will see you all next week.